Hey howdy, hey partners. Today we have the new Zerg with Blaster and two Zyclops figures. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen, and that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. I was super excited when I first saw this Zerg reveal because he has the blaster. Something I didn't know is 10 inch scale, which is shorter than the 14 inch scale Zerg. But I did hear that this Zerg scales with the five inch Buzz Lightyear line. So it should be fine. It should work out. I'm not too worried about it. Here down here, you can see the other figures in the collection. There's some side characters here I don't have yet. I did review these on my channel already, so that's cool and he has a blaster so his arm is actually removable for the blaster arm so we'll definitely check out how that works i feel like this is like a darth vader moment it's zerg out of the box he looks so cool this looks exactly like the 14 inch version of zerg except this is the 10 inch version very identical honestly i don't really see differences in this actual zerg figure the one thing that's different about the zerg is that he comes with this arm that you can attach and it does have these holes here for, I'm glad they turned them yellow because in the promotional images, we the prototypes, we saw red or like a pinkish color. So I'm glad they changed it to yellow. But the cool thing is it actually shoots out because there's a button and whoa, it actually shoots all three of them at the same time, which is crazy. Well, first the articulation, he has the same swivel out uh, joints here. He actually has some swivel movement here on the boot, which I'm actually really impressed with. If you see here, he can kind of move right here, swivel, which is pretty neat. I don't think the other Zerg had this. So there's like a swivel there at the sh bottom of the boot thing, which is pretty cool. I like that. It probably helps him pivot. And the great knee articulation here. He can go back this far. Actually, yeah, it does go pretty far. And then he can go forward all the way. A little tight jointed there, but he can definitely uh, sit down if you want to sitting zerg and that's pretty nice articulation there his arms of course swing out even though this arm comes off he can still bend and he has 360 at the wrist there as well the head is the same as the giant zerg no difference there so there's really good range of motion now in order to switch the arm to the blaster you just pull it and it just comes off very easily socket right there and then we put the blaster arm right there we're just going to slide it in there we go. And now he has his blaster cannon arm. So he shoots all three at the same time. But uh, if you wanted to shoot only one at a time, just put one missile. Otherwise, I notice it shoots all three out at the same time. So he just shot that pretty well. So here's another test of putting two missiles. See what happens. Yes. So it'll shoot two at a time. So as many as you put in, it'll shoot it. So if you put three at a time, it'll shoot those three. If you only put one, it'll shoot one. If you put two, it'll shoot two. And look how well Zerg scales with the five inch mission equipped buzz. I think it looks really good. So you can scale the 10 inch Zerg with the five inch buzz. I think it's still true to the trailer as Zerg towers over buzz. In certain perspectives, he probably looks even bigger than he's supposed to be, but this looks really great. And I really like the 10 inch option because now that I see it with my five inch figure with the blaster, it just looks more complete. And I think it looks super cool. And you can have loads of fun posing and displaying these two figures. They look really great together. Next, we're gonna look at this guy, the Zyclops, or as we know from Buzz's world as Zergbots. But in this case, we know that they're called Zyclops in the Lightyear movie. Looks like he has some missiles to fire, which is really cool. I really like the packaging. This is the eight inch, I believe he's eight inches tall. We'll double check. Back here, it does says includes teleportation disc. So this may be a spoiler to time travel in the movie. We don't know yet. And obviously there's a way to blast those missiles. I can't wait to get this out. Wow, this thing is super cool. I believe this is designed to come with your other mission buzz. I think it's scaled eight inch with the five inch. I think that is a good scale because when I went to the store, the wave came together in one box from Mattel. So it makes me think that these two belong together for scaling. As you can see, they, they do work. And I think that looks really nice. And I love this Cyclops figure. It is super cool. It's loads of articulation for such a tiny action figure. His head actually moves side to side. I wish it was a real light in his eyeball, like 
the movie, but that might be asking too much because this toy is not that expensive. I think I paid um, $13 for it or $14 for it. Not too expensive. And I was able to move it back there and then his arms swing out, which is really nice. It's got the in and out, forward and back as well, which is pretty nice up to there. He has a missile ready to launch there. This one is cool because it kind of looks like you, you could fire a laser or something out of there, even though it doesn't do anything. Very nice. Also has really nice waist articulation. So he can go, whoops, there goes the teleportation disc. <laughs> he can go 360 there. As you can see, the feature already accidentally launched right there. So if you zoom in here, this is supposedly the teleportation disc. So in the movie, teleport. <laughs> it's a little anticlimactic, obviously, but you know what? It's still a fun gimmick. And in the movie, I'm sure it does something cooler than that. I'm sure it opens some kind of like portal or something. Time jump. Teleportation <laughs> initiated. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having way too much fun with this feature. I think it's really fun. And I actually don't mind that. It doesn't really do anything but fall off of his body. And then the legs go forward and they go, wow, this one goes 360, which is impressive. The other ones don't do that. It goes all the way back, all the way forward. He has great knee joint articulation. I don't think he has any rotation here. Let's see if, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a rocker kind of. So it does kind of rock side to side, but not much, but at least you have something there. So you can probably get this guy in some crazy dynamic poses. And I think it looks awesome. And of course he's got his little missile fire feature. So if you press the trigger button on his arm, wow, it actually shoots really far. And it came with two missiles. So in case you lose one and you, or you want to do a quick load, a quick load, reload. There you go, you just reloaded that missile and you can fire another one, which is really great. It reminds me of the Zerg um, blaster missiles, but they're just red. And it's cool because it matches this Zyklops figure. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of the eight inch version? Do you think it scales well with the Buzz for five inch? I think it looks great together. And here it is, the big one. This is the 12 inch scale Zyklops figure, which is basically a giant version of what we just reviewed for the eight inch. Pretty cool, I didn't even know they were gonna make a larger scale <laughs> Zyklops but I approve, it looks really cool. And of course, here's the other ones you can collect, which we already have. Very excited, this is the 12 inch, so it's gonna go with your 12 inch. It's a big one. I wish they could have put a big uh, missile firing action. Uh, I could do without the teleportation disc maybe on this one, but to have at least the one missile fire, I think would have been essential. So that is a bummer. I wish they could have done that with this figure. One thing right away, Mattel painted more details on the eight inch version, as you can see, it has those red lines and these red lines are missing. So that is kind of a bummer. So you kind of have an upgrade with the smaller one. If you're gonna army build these, I would get the smaller ones because even the Z on the back there is painted. And if we turn this one around, it's missing, no. <laughs> I like details like that. And the fact that this one even has the gray paint there behind the kneecaps, this one's totally missing that detail. So this is a paint downgrade, but you get an upgrade in size, but you're missing a lot of features, especially like that Z would have been really nice to have on the giant version. So that's something to keep in mind when you pick this guy up. The only issue I have with this is that he's great for size, but he's lacking in action features and painting details. So let's see if he has articulation up here. He does have that side to side, which I do like. So at least you have some articulation on this figure and it's just, just a static statue. I do like that, that you can move his head, although it's kind of hard to do sometimes. Everything else is just kind of hollow, cheaper plastic. Um, let's see what the arms can do. They can swing out, which is pretty nice. They can go back that far, forward that far, which is pretty good. So you do have um, elbow joint bend there. It doesn't really go farther than that behind him, which is not a problem. It's far back enough. So he does have that going for him. I think that's really good. Legs wise, let's see if he can go back. He goes back really far, which is cool because I feel like some of the other figures don't do that. So he can go back super far, which is really cool. So that's nice. We do have some knee joint articulation there and he can also sit down. So you can have all of these guys sitting on your shelf if they're too tall for you. Yeah, 12 inch scale is definitely bigger. And let's see if the legs swing out. The legs don't really swing out at all, um, but they do hinge out like that. So you do can, he can almost do the split, which is actually pretty impressive. And let's see. Mine doesn't have any waist articulation. I don't want to force it, but his waist articulation doesn't work on mine. 
Sometimes maybe the joints are stiff, but it sounds like I would break it, so I don't want to force it. That basically covers his articulation. I think it's a solid figure. What does it really scale with? I mean, I guess it could scale with your five inch buzz as well. Now we're gonna have to watch the movie to figure out the scaling of these figures. But as of right now, it looks like the eight inch is gonna be closer to the size against buzz. This is gonna be a little bit too big for buzz, but you never know. Maybe they have giant Zyklop sizes that are different. We have to watch the movie first. For now, I think it's still a great display piece and I'm gonna line up the Zergs next to these so you can see more. So here we have 14 inch Zerg next to the 12 inch Zyklops, next to the 10 inch Zerg with blaster, next to the eight inch Zyklops, and the five inch buzz. And back here is the 12 inch scale buzz Ranger Alpha suit. So you can see the comparison of size between all these figures and your options that you have for your figures. What's the best for you? I don't know. I like collecting all of them to have variety and to see what I can do with my displays later on. But for now, I think it's really neat to look at all the size and all the scalings to see what would work for your display. Now you have a better idea of what the size of these toys are when you build your collection. Let me know in the comment section below, which one is your favorite so far? I love them all. I'm having such a great time collecting all these Lightyear toys. I'm just blown away. Mattel has done a really great job. For the price point of what we get, I haven't paid more than 10 or $20 per figure here. So that is really exciting. So you don't really need a lot of money to collect these toys. You can just pick the best ones that you like and collect them. For 10 or $20 under that, you're not really spending a lot and you're getting a lot of value. You're getting incredible sculpts, some awesome play features as well. My favorite so far in the collection is this Zyklops because it has that little teleportation disc, which is fun. I love the missile fire. I really love Zerg with the blaster and the fact that you can blast three at a time, two at a time, or one at a time. It's very versatile. I really like that. It displays really great with the five inch buzz. I'm still confused with 14 inch Zerg and you have you know 12 inch Zyklops and 12 inch buzz. Those don't really scale together in my opinion, but if you do have the little action figures like the five inch buzzes, then I could see them making more sense for scale for at least the villains. So let me know in the comment section below, which toys do you wanna collect? What do you think of this collection so far? I'm super excited to toy hunt more. I got more Lightyear toy reviews coming this week. You don't wanna miss out. We're almost to 100,000 subs on this channel for the epic 100K toy giveaway. You don't wanna miss out. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button Hit that notification bell so you're later for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it. Uh.